it is time to draw something. Ah, so excited. Um, I did have to rethink what I was going to draw because I like using all of the items. I know you don't have to. You can use a few of the items. You can even use items from other boxes, I suppose. But I really wanted to use everything in the box. So I wasn't going to do a portrait or anything too fun like last month's. I did a dinosaur and a cactus. I was just kind of lost for ideas. I really didn't like the items too much. Um, this time around, I'm... I like drafting tools. I love that pencil. I'll probably use that pencil all the time. It's going to go with me everywhere now. It's fantastic. It writes really well. It has good lines. I'm not a huge fan of metal grips, but it was kind of cool on the fingers for a little while. Although I am in Florida and it does get hot. So as long as I'm not holding it for a long period of time, I guess it's good. But So I had to rethink my drawing. And... I went with an item that's on my desk. I went with an origami crane. Lots of lines, lots of angles. Very, very pointy angles. <laughs> but I did get a lot of use out of uh, the drafting scale and getting to kind of measure out my lines and it was fun. I really did enjoy doing this drawing. Um, the pencil just, it moved really nicely, and I appreciate the the height of the lead that you can get, and it almost feels like you can balance that tip against other surfaces to get like a nice clean edge, and the flow on that was really nice. So I did a swatch of the marker set that I got, the Zig Clean Color, which is kind of the... Uh, the bluish, the dull blue color that I got, which is the actual name of it, is dull blue. Oh, boring. So boring. It is a really interesting color because it has kind of a gray base to it. Um, when I swatched it, it was very spotty. The pigment, not very strong, which was kind of a bummer. It like blue jeans. So I could see using this for certain things. Um, if you're doing, you know, an illustration, of a character wearing jeans or a jean jacket, it would be really cool because it leaves that spotty effect kind of like denim would. Um, for something like this, I really wasn't going to use a solid blue for the actual solid blue. Um, you're going to see in a moment here, I'm going to go in with that zig marker and I'm just going to do some pre-shading to give myself an idea of where my lay down should be and where I'm going to darken even more with the red when I go back over it. And I am using the uh, Royal Lang Nickel paper that I had picked up, I think at AC Moore, really inexpensive. Um, I usually use this when I'm testing different markers out once I get them in or you know, different ideas. It has a decent blendability and it has a plastic backing so it doesn't bleed through. And even though it doesn't bleed through, I still folded it over. I've had a few markers that have bled through this paper. I wasn't sure because the Cure Color is highly pigmented and it is a little on the wet side. So I just wanted to be sure that it wasn't going to mark up the background and be a distraction. Um, so the Zig Clean Color marker does not bleed. It does not smudge. It doesn't smudge with the use of alcohol marker on top of it, which I did do a swatch to make sure that I could blend or color over it without it blending together and getting muddied. The zig marker also started to tear up this paper. When I went in a little bit darker um, on the corners, it did start pulling some chunks of paper up, and that happens with water-based markers. If you don't have the correct paper type, it will chew it up. If you try using water-based markers on computer paper, it's probably gonna chew a hole in it if you try to go in and add more color <laughs> or layer colors. So. The laying upon colors was really easy because it's a water base and an alcohol marker. They're not going to smudge each other. Um, the Cure Color alcohol marker that I got was number 266. It's a wine red. Like I said before, the smell on this marker is insanely bad. I, it's very strong. I got a set of, I want to say, uh, they were knockoff touch markers from Amazon a while back. And they have this really... Uh, squishy brush tip nib but the smell on the marker was terrible and these are twice as bad oh my goodness so i had to take a a few steps back 
here and there to uh, get some fresh air. And laying down the color with the cure marker was kind of awkward because sometimes you can go in and um, maybe line the edges and then fill in the center and you'll kind of get like a nice shading effect where the red is set on top of itself and it darkens with these markers. I did not get that. It, it, it didn't really darken back up. I'm sure after it fully dries, I can go back in, go over it again, and it'll darken up a little bit more. So I had to go in with the zig marker and tighten up those areas where I was trying to get just a little more depth with the red. And uh, I'm trying to get into those tight points on each of the angles of this bird. Oh, it just, it, if you get real close up, you can see it starts to go over the edges. It doesn't bleed specifically, but the tip is just so thick that it it kind of bullies over the line a little bit. Um, the pigment laydown was nice. I mean, in the parts that are solid, they are very solid. There's no spotting at all, which was nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just going in right now and decorating the paper with little art snack pretzels because I do like me some art snacks. This is definitely a highlight of the beginning of my month when I get these boxes. And even if I don't like all the items, I do try to, you know, incorporate something and use them all. And some of these things are sitting in a little pile so I can give them away to other folks. And there's a few that I've definitely kept that I utilize that I do like. Um, some of the previous limited edition items have been kind of, I don't know, a few were lackluster and a few were amazing. And this mechanical pencil is definitely up there. Um, I think it was two boxes ago, I got Yupo paper, Y-U-P-O. I'll link all of the products down below um, so you guys can find them through at least Amazon. Got some good deals on there. But the Yupo paper, uh, we got, I think the core, watercolor with it and that was so much fun and I had swatched my alcohol markers on there. I used some Copics and I used some touch markers and the effects are so cool. So I kind of wanted to use the Yupo paper for this challenge because we had that cure color but I did notice that the watercolor markers on that paper get super smudgy and like can't keep a crisp line and Anything that's not like permanent just doesn't sit well on it. So it'd be way too smudgy um, I probably could have played around and got a good shading effect, but eh, I'll use the Yupo for something uh, Something else in the future again because I I, oh, I love it That's one of my favorite items that I've ever gotten you guys have a favorite item Let me know in the comments below. What was your most favorite thing that you've got out of the art snacks boxes? If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe and like my video and comments are always welcome. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching.